is definitely a daddy's room. <coughs> Only my side. I mean, you see the pictures. I, I, if I saw the couch, I'm going to put your lid. I love your photos. I love them with the stuffed animal that looks just like her that you sent me. Lula! Luna, Luna, Lulu! You calling her Lulu or Luna? Luna. Luna. Yeah, that was a you're starting to look alike. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. I see the hearts flying. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Anybody that's watching, please just let me know if this video is clear. There's no Wi-Fi in here to attach to. To connect to so I just want to make sure before I go on any further that the video is clear for you mm -hmm. all to see hi Alice am mm -hmm. I clear mm -hmm. clear she looks so good we are here at animal eye guy uh, dr. swinger's office in Fort Lauderdale you can come in hi, hi. hi. Oh, we're good, but Luna here is having some eye issues. Oh, Luna. Mm -hmm. You can see that. I'm Dr. Prada. Hi. Hi. So nice to I meet you. That. Thank nice you. <laughs> I'm Amy. Hi. This is Bran. Holding, holding the puppy. It's nice to meet you. So we rescued her uh, from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. Um, she came in as a, an owner surrender. She was nothing but mange, blood, pus, scabs. Oh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> she's about, I'd say six months of age. She came in with an ulcer in her eye, her right eye, and we, she was put on drops and ointment. Um, mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem to be clearing or getting better. It's actually getting worse. Her right eye, it has green pus oozing from it. Nothing but love. You have nothing to worry about. She's nothing but love. I know. I don't see an eyeball. It seems like it's kind of. Hi, Luna. You're a good girl, Mama. Look at all the white fuzz. She had not one hair on her body. So she looks great. She really, she was Aww. red and pink. Oh, there's that. I'm just gonna measure. Two sure. Do what you need to do. Top. We're used to this. Yeah. I don't want to do it in her right because of that ulcer there. She's been on eye drops. I'm talking to the people on the video. <laughs> She's been on eye drops, Sarah, <clears throat> and ointment for, God, how long now? Weeks. Mm -hmm. A couple weeks. There's the baby. Yeah, love your little underbite. <laughs> She's a daddy's girl. Are you? Oh, God, I get photos. I said he should start his own porn site soon. You're half naked. But no kidding. <laughs> it's in bed. It's on the couch. She doesn't leave his side for one second. Aww. You get lots of love in. Oh, the most yeah. amazing home. Anybody that's jumping on this video right now, I am here at Dr. Swinger's office, the animal eye guy specialist oh in Fort Lauderdale. Wow, you are doing great, sweetheart. That's quite a bit of tears, so that's a good thing. Awesome. Oh, so much less inflamed. So much less inflamed. Yeah, she was on fire. I'm just going to put a numbing drop. Okay. Yeah, that'll make you, that'll make you a little more comfy. If you open your She eyes. has had a little bit of practice with eye drops, huh? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. A drop will do ya. I know, especially over here, owie, huh? My good girl. Hmm. 
Allison, she's actually in a foster to adopt, but she's going nowhere. She is definitely home. Um, <laughs> she has not been officially adopted yet because of her eyes, and we still have to spay her once she's healed. We wanted to make sure that she received all the medical, so they would not have to go through any high costs of vet bills. We promise that to all of our rescue dogs. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's where your donations come in, people. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mama. Hi, beautiful. She sleeps a lot. Yeah. A lot. And he, she does not open her eyes pretty much like all day, right? Her eyes are really, really bothering her. Poor thing. Okay, get you taken care of. Yes, we are. That's why we're here. Mm -hmm. All right, yep. turn the light out. Okay. See, now you're holding them a little more open. Does that feel better? Because the light's off, too. <laughs> Sorry, because I took the video away from her for now while she's doing the exam. So she does have a cherry eye on the way. She doesn't. It oh, doesn't. Like it might be a little bit loose, but not, <clears throat> not out. What about so entropia? She doesn't really have that. Awesome. Yeah. She, uh, she does a little bit when she is uncomfortable and sucks her eye back. Mm -hmm. Both eyes are the one you're looking at? Both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But when her cornea is numb, it looks like we're in, the, in a good position there. She's so good. You can do anything to this dog. She's an angel. She truly is. And this, the left eye is on the neopolydexamethasone? The ointment? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ran out of the drops, right? Mm -hmm. The drops yeah. they ran out of, which could be part of the problem, but I don't know how long she would have to stay on the medications. Allison, I'm reading your comment. We are aware of countless dogs that are going to be killed today. We get the emails every day. We don't have fosters. We don't have the room. We are full with all of our large dogs. Sadly, there are over 300 animals in the shelter every day that are in danger. Wish we could save them all. Exactly. We focus on the ones we can save and make a difference in their lives. Otherwise, we'd all be ready for the loony bin. <clears throat> it's just a stain. It's going to help me look for if this ulcer is still open to the world or if there's an ulcer over here, which I suspect that there actually is. In her left eye? Mm hmm. Is she going to lose her right eye? Well, oh, that was bad. Yeah, unfortunately, it does look like it ruptured at some point. Mm -hmm. um, what I, what the I ulcer? Wanted, mm hmm. What I want to determine is if it's still functioning. Yeah, but she's not really responding to light. Mm hmm. And that really requires a minimal minimal function at the back of the eye for that to work. And she's not really making the other people constrict. So functionally, even if we were to do a kind of a radical repair surgically, I don't I don't think that 
it's going to work. Yeah. <clears throat> so now keeping the eye, if it's not functioning the right eye, is it going to cause her complications with oozing and infection? It could. It could, for sure. So um, she may need to have it removed. Mm -hmm. And there's an, an ulcer in the left eye as well. Oh, this poor thing. Yeah, so that's making her pull that eye back. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I know, it's bright, I'm sorry. Can she see out of her left eye? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can see just fine. We just need to change the therapy over there because we don't want... Her. If she is getting a steroid, we definitely don't want a steroid on an ulcer. Okay. Um, that's going to make it so she couldn't fight off an infection as well. So part of that's still ulcerated. It's very, very fragile. And part of what is actually sticking out there is the iris or the colored part of the eye mm -hmm. to plug it up. Mm -hmm. And some granulation tissue as well. That's going to be so uncomfortable. Thing that's not helping is she has some little hairs that are sticking out of her eyelid margin there. Mm -hmm. So that's usually, irritating, right? Yeah, it <clears throat> usually doesn't cause a problem, but when you have an, an ulcer in the center like that, that can that can cause you some some difficulty, especially in healing. how bad they are over here. I know I don't want to touch your ulcer after touching the other one, but she has a few over here, but they're more soft. And is she starting to pull her eye back? Mm -hmm. She can have a, a pretty good amount of entropion in response to having that light that's causing her some discomfort. So it's something that she might need to have repaired, but it's a pretty mild, pretty mild case. And this ulcer doesn't look infected or anything. But, yep, I am. Here, I'll turn it <coughs> like to warn everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Um, She's I so am. good. She's so good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I um, am worried about her comfort with that right eye. So I really don't think we get vision back at all. So what do you recommend, doctor? I, I would, for her comfort, actually remove it. Remove her right eye? Um, and what about the left eye? The left eye, if she's already under anesthesia, a little bit of a rolling out if, if necessary. The entropion. Entropion correction. And we could even freeze or cryotherapy where the little hairs are sticking out of the eyelid margin there. Mm -hmm. Normally they don't cause a big problem, but it is something that, you know, is irritating for them to brush along the cornea like that. Um, so, again, if she's already under anesthesia. Okay. Um, oh, I just have to look at the back. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just wanted to wash my hands first. You don't, do you by any chance have a nail clipper? You can clip her nails, or you don't do that here? Because she's so good. No, we don't really no? do that. No? Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Huh? Yep. You sure can. Here, let me get one. I got it. Oh, you got that one. Yeah. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> All right. Let me just turn the light off. Sure. Again. You babies. You're so brave. Yes. Like, that's bright. I know, I'm sorry.
pupil works really well over here. There we go. Beautiful. You look so good. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to, yeah. Let's Save the eye. Back. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't, I don't see a way to, okay. to repair that. Um, even if we did, it would, I think she'd be a very high risk for high pressure in the eye. Okay, could eye rupture. And, mm -hmm. We've had that before. We had a dog, um, Francis. Her mm -hmm. eyes were both bulging. We had to have both her eyes removed, so they're sewn shut. Yeah. But this is, she can, we can save her left eye? Yep, it looks it looks like we just need to try proper to meds prevent, prevent infection. So that would be an antibiotic. I'd like to put her on some serum, which is a it's a blood product. We have it banked here, so we don't have to actually draw it from her, which is nice, especially when your skin is a little irritated. Um, you know, it's much much better than it was. Look at this. We don't baby. have to put a puppy through, <laughs> through a blood draw. It's always good. Um, and then also a, a cone. Yeah. I have a cone at home, so the hard kind. Do you have a hard cone? Okay, we need a hard yeah, cone. Do you have one here? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, yep. And that's because even with the soft ones, they can yeah. kind of rub against oh, something yeah. or rub their eye. Or, it is you know, going to be like so important, and it's going to kill mm -hmm. you that you keep this cone on her because yeah. if she scratches it, she's done. Yeah. Right, so. doctor? Yep. Can she take it? Can he take it off when he's monitoring and watching, or no? no? Okay. But the cone on these dogs, they can't eat. They can't put their head in the bowl. <laughs> only yeah, to eat. Yeah. Only to eat and back on, yeah. like yeah, while I you're would, monitoring. I would actually also though try to try really hard to get it so that she will eat with it, even if it's kind of holding a smaller bowl up to her. Or something. They do eat. Because because she that. If, if you're right, right there, but I would still yeah, give it a... Hey, baby girl. I would still try. Yeah. It's really important. Yeah. It's part of the healing. Because yeah. she could destroy everything good that we're trying to do. Yeah. It sucks. The cone sucks. It they hate sucks, it. It sucks, but then you get fed. Oh, you're so cute. We've done a lot, a lot of cataract surgeries. Yeah. So, you know, we know the drill. We know how important it is to keep that cone on. Mm -hmm. One scratch and it's yeah. everything is un is just ruined. Well, it's undone. the thing is, if it's something that's done fairly soon, they need the cone two weeks after surgery. If you know we move forward with removing. When can we do the surgery? Side? When's the soonest you have? Um, they can look at the schedule. Okay. Up front, but should be able to be should be able to be soon. I want to get it yeah. done. I don't want her to suffer anymore. No, no, we don't either. So we don't need to put any medications in her right eye that's going to be removed? I would still, I would use the same ones that we're going to do in the left eye. Okay. And that's because that is an opening to infection okay. for the rest of the body. Okay. Um, right now it's sealed, but it is possible that it could, the seal can break down a little bit. Okay. Um, and we don't really, you know, we don't want that for her. Okay. And the serum is kind of soothing, too. Okay. And um, I forget if she's on anything. Is she still on her doxycycline or anything? No more meds, right? Do you know if she's getting any more um, antibiotics? No, no nothing. Okay. She's done with it. Does she need another antibiotic? Yeah, I, would, I would put her actually back on doxycycline. I have a bottle in my Perfect. purse. Um, and then also... If you have pain medicine, that would be great. Mm -hmm. If you have... Like tramadol? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and just a kind of a short course of meloxicam would be good. Do you have that here? We do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you... It's... Yep, so it's a non-steroidal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. So it's, it's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Um, so, so like Advil, like mm -hmm. ibuprofen, but safer for the, for the dogs. Um, so I have doxy in my purse. It's 100 milligrams. Mm -hmm. How much would we be giving her? Half a tablet twice a day? Her weight. I can figure out a dose in the, okay. in the back. <clears throat> so everything else that you would prescribe for eyes and for the meloxicam and everything, mm -hmm. 
whatever else, tramadol, if, whatever she needs. Are you going to do tramadol and meloxicam together? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, because one's m- more for inflammation, okay. that's meloxicam, and then the tramadol is, it's an, kind of an opioid type medicine. Okay. So, um, so that'll make her sleepy, right? anti inflammatory, yeah. She's going to sleep more? Yeah, which actually makes the cone a little more bearable. Yeah, and she too. can heal. Yeah, exactly. So. She's been through a lot. Yeah. All right, so anything that you, the meds that, you, that we need, just if you can, mm-hmm. we'll get them here. And with instructions of when and what and how often and for how long. Um, if we set up the surgery, do we continue the medications until then. Till the day? The yeah. day of surgery, do the we not give it or we do so, give it? Yeah, give, it. give it. Okay. Yeah. She just shouldn't eat after midnight. The, pro- the day before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's mm-hmm. do it. Let's yeah. get her done. Yeah. Let's get her fixed up. Mm-hmm. Little cutie. Mommy, we're going to fix right. you up. Thank well, you. Absolutely. We'll get that together for you. Okay. Were they able to get a weight? Yes. 24.4. 24. 24.4. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. I'm sure they put it in the computer already. But. Okay. Um, then we'll get your little pink patch. And she had great tear production in the left eye. Okay. Which is something we monitor because they're prone to having some dry eye problems. Mm-hmm. Um, but having an ulcer in the left eye can artificially make it higher. Okay. than what it would be in a normal situation. So okay. that's something we'll need to keep watch over, especially because we're going to be super vigilant, you know, about about her left eye since that's what... And your doctor... Proieto. I don't know. Proieto? <laughs> yeah, no, of course, no, the but cone stays on until the eye surgery. It does. Okay. And after. And after for two yeah. weeks. Two weeks after, too. Yeah. So you got a long time. She's got a long healing. <laughs> it's going to have to be... It has to be. Daddy. Yeah, it has to be. She's a little baby, so it's going to be fine. It's hard to get used to a little bit initially because it's like walking around with a hula hoop. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it's not even so much going to be a problem getting used to not being able to see out of the right eye mm-hmm. because she's not been able to. So yeah. that's not. I saw that when a we rescued her. Change. It was like this when we rescued her. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, we'll get that Thank for you. Thank you, doctor. Appreciate it. I'll be out in one second. All. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, little cutie. Yeah. Oh, she's fresh. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm just going to recap real quick before I sign off. Um, so Luna here has a ruptured um, ulcer in her right eye, which her eye needs to be removed. It's causing her a lot of discomfort and oozing and green infection as you can see um, they've been putting the meds in but now we're going to get her on the proper meds um, she's going to get us everything that we need the doctor sucks and whoever oh Luna's getting playful oh yes mommy um, yeah so we're getting her on all the proper medication I'm going to set up the appointment immediately to have the right eye removed and whatever they need to do to fix the left eye she might have some entropian where the eyelashes are irritating um, but she can see out of her left eye. She cannot see out of her right. It's a, a ruptured uh, ulcer. It's causing her discomfort, so we're going to go ahead and set that up, and I'll get the estimate. And I'm asking all of you, I'm going to put up a, a, a donation. Please, please, please donate towards this surgery um, so we can cover everything and get little Miss Luna here everything she needs. She's been through so much. I'm sitting here. My heart hurts. My heart is happy because she has this amazing family to love her. Um, but the person that owned this dog prior and surrendered her to the kill shelter in this condition, if you all remember, she was nothing but red, bleeding, pus, mange. I should only hope that you rot in hell for what you have done to this poor dog. This is all due to neglect. It is pure animal cruelty. And um, we will stay focused on our sweet Luna. Thank God she has her amazing daddy and mommy and family. Thanks, Bran for doing all this and loving her. Hey, baby, she's so easy to love. You are so easy to love, Luna. Guys, please just donate something, please, for Luna. I'll put up the PayPal link when I shut this down. We're going to get everything set up right now. This is Amy with our sweetest Luna, 100-plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. We're going to give you everything you need, Miss Luna.